My name is Kate Pilot, and I am founder of Farm and Fish. We are a meal kit service that focuses on sourcing locally and trying to use as much sustainable packaging as possible. I was born in Bangor and grew up in Castine. After college, I got a job in New Hampshire. My husband and I, we really liked cooking, but we just didn't really have the bandwidth to meal plan and then source properly. So we started using a national brand of meal kit. We found a local meal kit service in New Hampshire. It was a better experience because we were able to know where some of the food was coming from and it was less packaging. When we came home to Maine during COVID, we realized that that kind of experience didn't exist up here. We like the meal kit experience, we like knowing where the food comes from, and that's how Farm and Fish was born. Part of the vision when I started Farm and Fish was not just sourcing locally, which was important, but also delivering the kits in a way that was sustainable, reusable, responsible. And so the idea of reusable packaging really resonated. It didn't even occur to me that reusables weren't an option in Maine for food delivery. But then when I was going through the licensing process, it turns out that reusable packaging is not permitted per the food code. It seems like the concern was because you were relinquishing control of that packaging to a customer and you don't know what's happening to it. But I really saw the farm and fish model as similar to a lot of restaurants where, you know, food goes in, it comes back, you sanitize it, you reuse it. And so at that point, I was flustered and frustrated because I had purchased a bunch of glass and, and stainless steel packaging. I said, okay, we'll pivot to compostable packaging. When I was told no from the Department of Agriculture that, that reusable wasn't an option, I reached out to Nina Milliken, who is the state representative for Blue Hill, and she connected me with Senator Nicole Grahowski out of Ellsworth. I don't know that I expected much when I reached out to our local representation because I'd never done that before and I didn't know what to expect. And I was really pleasantly surprised by the ears that listened to my plight as a business owner. It was really exciting to go to the state house and testify, to have all these different people validate the importance of reuse and, and the ability for businesses to engage in the reuse economy. So I'm really looking forward to learning what works and what doesn't. But I'm also really looking forward to what this can do for the state of Maine in terms of industry. So if this opens up the door to companies to come to Maine, to employ people, to, to be part of the local economy, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and I really want that to, to be one of the outcomes of this bill. Farm and Fish does check a lot of those boxes in terms of supporting a local economy, supporting the environment, cutting down on carbon footprint when it comes to delivery of, of produce and products. I'm really grateful, really grateful for the diversity of people who were saying it was important. We had citizens, we had corporations, we had nonprofits. If you feel like something could be better, you're going to have representatives, you're going to have organizations like NRCM to walk with you through that. But I really hope that through this reuse bill and through businesses adopting reusable packaging that our communities become more and more used to and expect reusable packaging.